<coughs> All right, so for part three for June the 23rd, 2012, over time I haven't uh, really done any speeches. If you go to Vote Smart on you on uh, the internet, they'll show three speeches that I said in uh, <coughs> in the year uh, uh, 2008 when I ran for president. Then uh, you'll get very little information. I didn't answer the political courage test because I answered all those questions in 2008. Nothing's really changed from 2008 to 2012. It hasn't. The only thing that's changed is that I had all my stuff in 2008 and the city kept attacking me with my political sign at the house at the corner of DeSoto and Hart in Canoga Park and they kept attacking me and attacking me. But they were attacking me before that too, keeping me in the poorhouse because I had to keep paying and paying the tow yards and the tow yards and they just wouldn't leave me alone when I finally got in a house. Nobody would leave me alone. They slashed my tires. Who's they? It doesn't matter. Your society takes responsibility for all the crap that you do. So I don't have to point out that it was LAPD or it was some neighbor in the business community park slashing my tires because they didn't want to see my trucks and cars parked on their street. Sick people. It's okay for them to break the law, to, to, to get the police to tow my stuff away because I'm supposedly breaking the law? How am I breaking the law? I had insurance. I was forced to get insurance, forced to get registration, forced. I didn't want to be on the street. I wanted to be off property. I was off the property. I was at Wilson's Canoga Feed. They came there and attacked me there too. Now, a lot of nowadays, right now, because the orange line is being built, they'll say, well, we had to make room for the orange line. That's a piss poor excuse. Sorry, buddies, you ain't going to get away with that because the, there's chronicled history of when you did that to me. And I'll tell you, that the orange line didn't get put in until just 2010. It was 2002 that you people were harassing me. Forced me into the street in different places I park. Building and safety was constantly following me. How do I know that? Because they were following Linda Maneri and her double-decker British buses. She had eight of them. They followed them, her too, and they kept her on the computer saying, oh, she's in a new place? Shouldn't we check that out and put it on our computer? This is how their brains operate. This is a violation of civil rights, a violation of privacy. Linda Maneri had a heart attack because of what? Building and safety, the police department, the crappy city of Los Angeles, the mayor, and the president. The United States, it doesn't matter who is president. You're all Bilderberg puppets, money puppets. You don't care about money. That's all you care about, and that's why you're going to get what you're going to get. Now, I don't care if you believe me. I don't care if you pass me off as a wacko or crazy or whatever. If I am and I'm disabled, is this how you treat disabled people? Is that how America treats disabled people? Because all the people in the world should know how they treat disabled people here. All the people in the world should know how you destroy a person's ability to create any kind of success for themselves. Did Donald Trump in the last three years after my house was burnt at DeSoto and Hart, and the only reason the fire department couldn't arrest the person because they didn't have enough evidence. Did Donald Trump call me on YouTube? Did any rich SOB call me and say, hey, see, I know you're having trouble. I know this is terrible. I don't want to see your everything taken from you. Here's some money. You could do whatever you want. You could stay here or you can leave the United States. I would have left in an instant, a second. It wouldn't take me not even a nanosecond to think I want out of here with my hard work for possessions. Each person is entitled to live and enjoy the fruits of their labor. Obama's enjoying the fruits of his labor. I see other people in the world here enjoying the fruits of their labor, but you took mine away from me. So maybe some big secret has been bestowed on me, and I know how the planet Earth is going to end, and I don't care. Yeah, I'm listed as running for president. So what? You think the Electoral College or the, uh, uh, nine different challenges I've handed to D uh, Romney, Obama, all the candidates, more than 300, I think. None of them have answered me on YouTube. None of them will stand on a stage and debate me because I guarantee you after you study my YouTubes and the way I talk, I'm going to bury Obama and Romney and any other candidate that runs. 
because I have leadership qualities that they'll never have. They need to learn from me. As a matter of fact, they are learning from me. They know exactly what I'm like. They steal stuff from me off of YouTube. They stole stuff before I was on YouTube. They spy on people, give them nothing, take their property because they're afraid. They can't, tr oh, we can't trust this person. He flips and flops a lot, and we're not sure. Well, you deserve not being sure for all the crap that you do to people because I know I'm not the only one you've done this to. And the day I come into power, that's the day the media is going to get crap, the government's going to get crap, you're all going to be crapped on by me. But that day will never happen because even YouTube is controlled. Only 15, 16, maybe 17 minutes. And how many people are going to look at three years of video since I've been on the street from my birdhouse, the multiple times that I've been pushed out into the street with my possessions, losing my stuff to auctions, losing my stuff, being forced to go to storage places that I never wanted to be in. I had it all worked out. I had all my stuff stored in all the buses, cars, trucks. I was ready to move to Colorado someday when I saved enough money. I was going to build my place in Colorado on the 40 acres, put up my fence and say, go to hell, planet Earth, because I don't want nothing to do with you. My plan was to go out into the world and pick out people that think like me who've been abused. Because only abused people should run for office. They know where all the problems are. They have first-hand, 100% experience of what needs to be changed. Obama will never know. Has he ever slept in the street? Has the Bushes ever slept in the street? Have any of these jerk-offs who don't even have an a-hole? They were born without an a-hole. That's why they're full of it. And that's the stuff that comes out of their mouth. I'm not afraid to call them off. And if I'm a presidential candidate, so what? Even if I had a ghost of a chance, and I don't, because the media is controlled. You won't see this on national TV. They censor this. Oh, the, and believe me, the government knows that eh, he's only had 6,000 views in three years. Nobody cares what he says. You know, he will never get anywhere. And even if some tiny little magazine or newspaper pays attention to him for the few minutes of a tiny interview, I have news for you. I'm not going to do an interview. If you do, if anybody asks me for an interview, they're not going to get the interview because I want to be paid. Uh, I, I picked a figure in the past. I want to be paid the same amount of money that CBS paid Zapooter for the assassination of John F. Kennedy. That's what I want. I want the $10 million that CBS paid Zapooter for that film. And that's just for one interview. And the interview that people get from me, I might reveal some secrets, but none right now. And none that anybody would understand anyway. Most people are very, very low mentality. They don't have any interest in educating themselves and improving themselves with their memory, their intellect, or anything else. That was the whole idea of me building my Shangri-La in Colorado, which the city, the very same city, trapped me here. Whoa, you can't be here. You're violating this. You're violating that. <coughs> They trapped me here by taking my stuff and continuing to sabotage my life everywhere I went to the point to where I'm reduced down to a bicycle, a laptop, and what? YouTube? YouTube ain't going to get me elected. Who's going to watch this? Who's going to even give a hell? Eight minutes of ranting and raving. People can't keep up with what I'm saying anyway. Their brains don't multitask as fast as I do. They could watch my videos over and over again, but I think I'd even get tired of watching myself because I've watched some of these videos and I go, oh, I've got to go to something else, take a break. See, I'm a lot more normal than most people think, but I hide that part of myself because you people don't deserve the kind of normalcy that I 100% own. You're not allowed to share in that normalcy. Only friends would be allowed that and I don't have any friends any friends that are any use not really they're acquaintances they come they go I talk there's a pleasant conversation but <clears throat> they've managed to block that too if I built my place and left in 2004 like the way I had planned to I would have been in Colorado building my glass domes 
because I don't believe in sleeping in a stupid How many people are so stupid? They sleep in their bedroom and watch some stupid ceiling. I like, when I lay down, I like looking at the stars every night. That's intelligence. You people live wrong. You build these houses, they're like coffins. Who wants that? And I'm not claustrophobic. I'm just saying, you build coffins. Who wants to look at a stucco ceiling their whole life? And if you're going to make love, you've got to make love looking at the stars, seeing the grandeur of the universe. That's when it really means something. But no, let's leave the lights on, let's do this, let's do that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I can look out the window maybe, but that's sideways. No, if, if there's a problem with your planet, it's, it's the way you people think. You don't have any fundamental priorities. These fundamental priorities have to be in a certain position, a certain order, and you don't have it. Remember I said the human race has a bad rap sheet. 7,750 years of wars and bits and pieces. And by the way, this information was gathered by MIT scientists, so that's your own scientist who I'm quoting here. And a little less than 300 years of peace worldwide in bits and pieces all over the planet in the last 10,000 years. 28,000 years ago, man as they, we knew it then, started putting their handprints on caves in France and Spain, and that's pretty much documented. So you've got about a 28,000-year history. So actually, the 7,000 figure is probably not all that accurate. It's probably more than that. So are you a warlike creature? You've proven that. You've got the worst rap sheet on the planet, worse than any criminals, all the criminals put together on the planet. You've got a worse rap sheet than you can imagine. So you're, but the government has you all hooked. They got you hooked, hooked, line and sinker. Oh, I want to buy that new car, that new Eclipse. I want to buy this car. I want to buy that new uh, Eclipse, uh, or whatever it is. You know, I don't care. A new Mercedes. I want to buy the new Cadillac. And you, and you're driving your new car, and you think you're so important, and you're all blah, blah. Look, I'm living my life. It's great. I'm driving through Starbucks in my nice, brand new, shiny vehicle, which. I pay through the nose for insurance. I pay through the nose for registration. Go see the movie Meet John Doe when Walter Brennan starts talking about what helots are and why they're the kind of creature that you really want to stay away from. So, so where does this all end up? Because this is part three and this is Saturday. I'm going to go put it all up and go wander on my bicycle some more. Actually, now I have to move again from another storage, <clears throat> and I have to find somebody to rent a storage for me because I don't have enough money. One of those dollar specials so that I can move my stuff from one place to another, and I'm behind on my other three storages, storages that I never asked to be in. The city of Los Angeles and the crappy way they run things put me in every place I've been in. Did anybody get arrested for setting fire to my house? Did anybody get arrested for slashing my tires? Did anybody get arrested? No. But when I was going to move to that Colorado property, I knew I had all my future planned out. I had all my stuff. I had all the possessions I needed to work with. When I finished building part of Shangri-La, I was going to do a lot of traveling, go all over the world and pick, pick the most precious flowers of intelligence, which are people to bring to Shangri-La to live. I wanted to steal from the world all the people that are like me. The people that really do, are, do have intelligence, supreme intelligence, and are enlightened people. People who have been abused. People who have been persecuted. These are the people that I was interested in. I don't care about the rest of you. You can live your addicted lifestyle for the rest of your life. Your new cars, your new boats, your new this, your, all your wonderful things that you do. You can go live that all you want to. But you didn't have any right to destroy my right to build it the way I was going to build it. And you did. Your collective society destroyed my life. So there's nothing that I have to share with any of you. And I will continue doing YouTubes as I get sicker and sicker because I don't have any real health care. <clears throat> you people made me sick. And when you don't have a stable place to take care of yourself, that's when your health starts to deteriorate. You can't take the right supplements because where are you going to put your supplements? Carry, carry them with you on your back? Where are you going to put all of the stuff that you need to keep 
your life healthy. It takes a lot of work to do that. And if you people really want to know the answers to health, remember I said doctors were sent to me at Wilson's Kenography. Doctors were sending their patients to me. Why me? I didn't go to Harvard. I didn't go to Yale. I didn't go to any of the big colleges. I didn't go to medical colleges. Where did I learn all this? That's a secret that I'm not going to share with any of you. But put me on the national news circuit where I am a threat to Obama and Romney and maybe, maybe, and that's a big maybe, maybe there might be a chance for all of you. Now I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, he's using that as a ploy just so he'll get attention other than the other candidates to make himself a major candidate. Well, of course I want to be a major candidate. I'm running for office. I'm running for that lousy, stinking office in that White House. Actually, I'd build a dome next to the White House with a glass uh, roof, and I would want to sleep in my bed at the White House looking through a glass roof at the stars every night. I don't want to look at some stupid ceiling. I don't care if it's a Lincoln bedroom or whatever. It's dumb. Only dumb people live like that. People who are, who are wacko. That's the first sign that you know somebody's really wacko when they live like that. All right. We'll talk to you later. This is part three for today, and that's it.